When working in Unity, a common problem with working with the script is when it detaches from Unity and it doesn't show IntelliSense or errors anymore. Sometimes just changing the external tool setting works, but sometimes it's a little trickier than that. So I found another thing you can try if the first thing isn't working. So if you notice right now, I have several errors in my code, nothing showing, and in the upper left, it says miscellaneous files. So we know that Visual Studio isn't actually recognizing any of the, the Unity code. It can't really debug it. So if I go over to Unity, the first thing you want to do is check to see under Edit, Preferences, that your external tools is set. So if it says Open by File Extension, you'd want to change it to your editor. Mine is Visual Studio. And that's the common thing that usually fixes it. And then when I go, it should be connected fine. It should show assembly C sharp up here and my error should show. And that typically would fix it. But sometimes there's a little more that needs to be done. Now, after struggling trying to find this for a while, I did find something else you can try. What you can do is go up under view and check solution explorer and in a couple of cases now, I found if you look, it says assembly C sharp unloaded. So for some reason, the assembly C sharp setting is not actually being applied. And all we need to do is right click on that and say reload project with dependencies. It should now show assembly C sharp at the top and notice it's starting to show my errors. So it showed my debug log, it's missing quotes, it's missing a semicolon, and my if statement is all messed up and debug log here needs a capital. So now if I save it, it should be fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close it. And from then on, it seemed to fix things. So it didn't seem to like something you need to keep resetting. So if I close Visual Studio and go back into it, it should stick and still have the assembly C sharp. So if the external code setting wasn't working, I'd say give this a try.